My name is Mike Rayner and I am from eWrench.com. This video is about how to install software in your Ubuntu 10.04 desktop using the Ubuntu Software Center. I will be using a VirtualBox machine, but the process is similar for any Ubuntu 10.04 desktop. Start at Applications, go all the way to Ubuntu Software Center, go ahead and click on that, and it will come up. The Ubuntu Software Center has thousands of free applications you can download and install on your desktop. Software is arranged into categories like games, education, sound, and video, graphics, developer tools. Today I will be installing Adobe products for the web browser and a video player, the VLC video player. The Adobe products will be installed to work with the default web browser, Mozilla Firefox, that comes with Ubuntu. The best way to locate the Adobe products is to use the search box. Click inside the search box and key in your search term, in this case Adobe. Here we'll see we've got the Adobe Flash plugin, Adobe Air, Adobe Reader German, Adobe Flash plugin 10, and Adobe Reader 9. So we're going to install the Adobe Reader uh, and the uh, Adobe Flash plugin for Mozilla and Adobe Air. So just simply click on one. It can say more info. Sometimes here it'll say install. We'll say Adobe Reader, more info. And it says this software is available from the Lucid Partner source, which you are not currently using. In this case, we'll just say use this source. It's going to ask for your password. Key that in and authenticate yourself. Click on install. Now you'll see in progress you've got a bar, but we don't have to wait for it to finish. Click back on search results. Adobe. Go back. Well, let's go for the Adobe Flash plugin. In this case, we've got the install right there. So click on install. In this case, since we've already authenticated ourselves before, now we'll see in progress too. And we're also going to install Adobe Air. Click on Adobe Air, in progress, click on install, and we'll see in progress 3. Now, the other thing that we're going to install is a VLC player. The VLC player is a video player that is, works both with Windows and Linux machines. Uh, the reason for using VLC player is that once you learn how to use it in a Windows machine, you can also use it in a Linux machine without having to learn a new set of, uh, uh, of steps and everything like that. So let's go over here in the search box. We'll type in VLC. And right here is VLC Media Player. We'll click install. There's a number of different options there, but this is just your basic VLC media player, read, capture, broadcast your multimedia streams, and works, like I said before, in both Windows and Linux. And here is a uh, pop-up that comes up that asks if you want to set Adobe Reader as a fault PDF viewer. In this case, we click on forward. Sometimes these pop-ups show up the bottom window, and you may that may hang up your installation, uh, and you may have to go back and uh, click in here to keep going. Now we've got one thing already installed, the Adobe Reader, so we've got three in progress. Now if we want to see what our progress is, we simply click on here, and it says, oh, we are installing Adobe Air and a VLC uh, player. Once everything's installed, or in the meantime, you can see what's installed software. It's got a green check on it. Uh, that's uh, software that you can that's been installed. If you want to remove some software, you simply click on it and ask for it to remove. So we only have one item left. It 
to install. Click on the In Progress. VLC Player Media Player is downloading currently. As you can see, there are, there's thousands. If we go back to Get Software, there are thousands of applications. Some of them are quality and some of them are not so good. For example, if you want to do uh, graphics in 3D, there's a program called Blender. That's uh, pretty amazing. That's one of the top uh, it's best uh, graphics program for doing 3D graphics in Linux. Uh, let's check our progress. We are still downloading VLC Player. We're going to let that trundle on and uh, come back when uh, it's fully installed. Once everything is installed, you may want to run your update manager to install any updates that's needed for your new software. Again, you're going to be asked for your password. Let your update manager go and do its, its work. If you want to check and see, you've got Adobe Air. Now the VLC player is going to be, just that you just recently installed, it's going to be right here at the bottom in alphabetical order. We're going to let the update manager do its work and then uh, return again once it's through and check and make sure that we have the VLC uh, player installed. Once the update manager is finished, it'll say your system's up to date, and we can close it. And we're going to close the software center. Let's go to applications, and we'll go to sound and video. And here's a VLC me media player. And of course, it says, gives you something about privacy and network policies. Uh, you're going to have to learn to use that on, on your own. Thank you.